Hi. Today it's indeed a great pleasure to introduce you to someone uh, like Dr. Athira. Uh, she is the uh, AIMS first rank holder in INI new super speciality pediatric nephrology segment this year. And uh, it is a proud moment for us, the team, uh, for having her here. Welcome, Adria. So we know that uh, uh, going through a journey uh, like uh, from speciality to subspeciality is always uh, tiring and needs so much perseverance. And I know that uh, since I know you personally as well, I know that you have been uh, trying so hard for this moment. So uh, big congratulations and we are so proud of you. Dr. Athira is actually uh, an alumnus of Calicut Medical College. She finished her MBBS in 2000, uh, I mean 2019 and then she joined uh, for her MD Pediatrics in Ames Bhopal. And now presently i think she's working in ames bhopal as a senior resident in between she was uh, for a while working in uh, uh, cmc velour uh, with the pediatric nephrology team so we would like to hear from you uh, many things i am sure that our uh, aspirants are curious and uh, eagerly waiting to know how your journey was uh, through these years so uh, my first thing would be when when did you start developing an interest towards pediatric nephrology and why pediatric nephrology what was that uh, point uh, it actually started only uh, just organically uh, i did my uh, mbbs from cavity then i started my b from Ames mobile in Ames mobile my mentor was dr girish chandra Bhatta. he is mainly uh, training uh, giving training us in pediatric nephrology and we had a very good case discussion during our MD training, uh, training time. And uh, we are also the sister renal center. So we had a uh, good uh, clinical case discussion with other centers uh, in India and also from abroad. So uh, that usually give a, make a, me to uh, add some interest in pediatric nephrology. And uh, my uh, MD uh, this is also under AVPM. So uh, on the three years, I had a lot of opportunity to uh, see the cases of pediatric nephrology and uh, go to the re recent advances in pediatric nephrology. But uh, as we, our institute was uh, just developing in pediatric nephrology, my uh, initial exposure was mainly in nephrotic syndrome, renal tubular disorder. So based on that, I gave my first attempt of uh, in to pediatric nephrology in 2022 uh, December. Uh, in that exam, I got a rank of three. Uh, Following that, uh, I had an exposure to have a, a pediatric nephrology conference in Ames, New Delhi. And there I met Dr. George sir, and he introduced me to the CMC Bello. And I am lucky that I have a lot of good teachers during the last three years who really uh, helped me to go through this journey. And in CMC Bello, I have Dr. George sir, Dr. Swati Kiran Man, and they actually introduced me uh, how the speciality will work. Once we uh, had an MD training as a general pediatrics, uh, we'll see in a little bit of uh, broader aspect. And but uh, they both of them introduced me to the reason advances happening there. And uh, but, uh, a special thanks to my mentor, Dr. Girish Chandra Bhatta. He always uh, inspired me to uh, do more and uh, go to further research. And uh, I'm really thankful to Rena Ma'am also because. Uh, there is very, uh, very, very few resources for pediatric nephrology for a super specialty exam. No other platform is uh, giving much uh, detailed information and uh, data regarding pediatric nephrology. And specifically, the marrow uh, question bag in pediatric nephrology was really very nice. And all this helped me. And uh, I was not preparing for this exam this May session. I was expecting an exam in December. But somehow there, there was a seat uh, in May session, so it happened like, somehow. Uh, very nice to hear from you. And I know that uh, achieving uh, a rank three in the first attempt, uh, I mean, maybe not with a, a much, uh, a much a very uh, scheduled preparation and all is a great job. 
and the problem with pediatric sub specialties uh, mostly is that the number of seats are limited the institutes running the courses are uh, very limited and we have i mean uh, the options as you correctly told the the resources for uh, seeking uh, knowledge all those things are limited so uh, it's uh, was it uh, i mean working in cmc already meant, meant that you already uh, brought out that point that working in cmc really helps so what do you feel that uh, is working in a department an essential part to enter into such a uh, course or will it be okay if you just continue uh, i mean online training and uh, uh, i mean the preparation uh, online rather than working in a department so what do you feel uh, the, the working in department is the essential thing or uh, what is your call on that uh, uh actually i have experienced both the merit and demerit of both of things because uh, mm -hmm. last year i worked in as a senior resident pediatric nephrology in cmc wellu till july and uh, as i took a break to prepare for the ins because uh, cmc the work schedule was very hectic so uh, prepare for uh, preparation and but after giving the exam i understood that uh, whenever when you are working uh, in the specialty that will always give you confidence and always make your uh, knowledge uh, in a practical uh, way so it will be helpful for you to recollect the thing also so last 6 months of my senior residency in aims gopal helped me to refine uh, my knowledge and and make it when the while you are practicing the thing that you are learning it will be helpful for you to prepare and uh, that will also help you uh, to learn uh, and unlearn so many things which were initially thought to be correct so my last three, six months of senior residency in aims gopal uh, was really helpful uh, for me for this preparation very good so uh, how much uh, of a general pediatrics preparation was done prior to this uh, was it uh, looked into or it was exclusively a pediatric nephrology preparation which was uh, done in exam 50 to 60 percentage is mainly pediatric nephrology and another 30 to 40 percentage is general pediatrics uh okay. general pediatric part a uh, little bit we have prepared at the time of md and as i was working here i have very limited time so i just brush through the important topic which is have which has a relation with the pediatric nephrology like oncology like tumor lysis syndrome and some little bit of wilms tumor or neuroblastoma pheochromocytoma and in pulmonary uh, pulmonary pediatric pulmonology looking at each of the five process and uh, a little bit of more detail in hypertension which is and uh, other cause of hypertension cardiovascular system so i always try to link those uh, sub uh, topics which are related to pediatric nephrology and in other sub specialty otherwise uh, because of lack of time uh, i couldn't complete the general pediatrics from one end to other end i just go through the important topics but i try to cover pediatric nephrology in a detail uh, while i was preparing for last six months thank you so uh, you already told uh, that uh, working in a department had really helped i mean working in the department of pediatric nephrology has really helped you and uh, was that uh, uh, for the second part i mean the interview part of the aims exam or in the theory also you feel that it has really i mean backed up you with uh, uh, help what is that what do you uh, think i i definitely advise who are interested to pediatric nephrology they should a uh, work in a department which have a pediatric nephrology unit and that will definitely help you both theory paper as well as in the interview part because they will mainly ask the practical thing uh, theory knowledge have uh, will help you up to the mcq exam for the iva part and uh, to the interview session definitely you need to be in uh, working in a institute which is having pediatric nephrology the, uh, because that will also help i help you how to you apply your knowledge that you are uh, gaining through reading books or listening videos okay so uh, what will be the advice or uh, which you, you would like to give to the aspirants of pediatric nephrology the fellow aspirants once you have a passion follow it sometimes it will take time but at the end you will reach uh, wherever you are supposed to reach okay thank you it was so nice talking to you and i hope uh, marrow classes do help you uh, in some matter i definitely understand that working in a department and attempting i mean attending classes are like totally different we all go through that uh, so uh, i 
feel that uh, narrow classes have also helped you and uh, you're always welcome to give suggestions regarding improvising our classes uh, so it was very nice to talk to you uh, all the best for your future endeavors thank you ma'am i'm really uh, thankful to enter maro team uh, because they provide an excellent feedback unfortunately i couldn't finish all pediatric nephrology lecture but i go through important topics and uh, while i was uh, sitting in ward whenever we are having free time i used to cover all those tenamam video and uh, i am still uh, i'm remembering the first time when i saw that maro is providing pediatric nephrology and there are some classes there i think i i subscribe this is within few days of us uh, it is there but initially the videos were not uploaded in uh, in full content so now the aspirants are lucky they have all the topics uh, uploaded and they can prepare thank you thank you adra thank you all the best